Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here today. Today I have my Ipsy Plus and I have, uh oh, I don't know what I have. I have these. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was an add-on sale or the flash sale that you do during choice. Let me know below if you know what it's called. Let's get in here and see what everything is. <laughs> I really need to start writing down the names of the sales when I purchase things from them because everybody has add-on sales and flash sales and pop-up sales and it generally happens like when you go in to make your choice and I'm like oh yeah I'll have that too. That's when I purchased whatever this is which I don't even remember I think maybe it's lip related and then we have my plus. So we will open the little add-ons first while I tell you that Ipsy comes in three bags now they have the regular bag which is $12 and you get five samples, sometimes full size in it. The plus, which is $25 and it is five full size products. And then the ultimate, which is $50 and it is eight full size products and four deluxe samples. People have different favorites. There are a lot of people who like the original OG bag for $12. I totally get it. That's always a reliable bag. There's the new plus, which is what this is, where they give us our first two items and then they give us choices for the next three that we can select from. And then there is the ultimate, which ironically, even though it costs the most, we get one choice. So I have taken out of that bag the two products that I ordered. And I believe this was a $5 sale. And oh, this is why I got it. I waxed poetic when I did my last Ipsy unboxing because I got this in watermelon and I saw this and I was like, yeah, I have to have it. It is the Jersey Shore Cosmetics Rich Hydrating Balm in Lemonade. These are like $10 on their own on the Jersey Shore site and I got that plus this, which we'll talk about in a second, for $5, I believe. And I was like, oh, I haven't tried the Lemonade one. I love these Jersey Shore lip balms. And when I talked about them last time, I just went on and on about in the video how much I like them, thinking you guys are gonna think that I lost my mind. But that's not what happened. I was amazed at how many people down in the comments were like, oh my goodness, those are the best lip balms ever. I get those lip balms. Somebody told me that you can go to Jersey Shore and you can get like, they have like a box, like a subscription box where you can just get them. I might have to do that. I, I don't know how much lip balm I can go through. I finished off my mint one. I've started on my watermelon one and now I have this nice lemonade one. But if they come out with like pumpkin spice or winter scents, I mean, you wanna, you wanna be up to date. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like lemonade. I can't put it on because I have these dark lips on, but oh, I can't wait to try that. I love these. If you get the opportunity to pick these up and it's just, again, it's the Jersey Shore Cosmetics and it's just the hydrating lip balm, you won't be disappointed. And I got with that purchase and this just happened to come with it. It is the Berry and Juice 100% Vegan Lip Gel from Seraphine Botanicals. The beauty of Seraphine Botanicals is it's a really clean brand and I just happened to get this. I wanted this and it made this half price. So this says it is not tested on animals, vegan, GMO free, gluten free, no mineral oil, no parabens, phthalates. It has vitamin E, blackberry and raspberry extract, soft shea butter, soybean, safflower and sunflower seed oils. And it is hypoallergenic. See, it's a really nice brand. I don't think I've ever had one of their lips. That is what that looks like. I don't know why I thought when it said lip gel, it was gonna look different, but it's just basically a lip gloss. Let's check it out. And that is what it looks like. And you can tell looking at the tip, it does look a little more wet than an average lip gloss. Oh, it is. It's just like, oh, that's nice. This color is fantastic. I won't quit playing with it. I'd love to show you guys. Oh, and it smells good. I think that's watermelon. That smells so good. And that is such, see the, oh, look at the shine in that. It's kind of got those, I think, gold flecks in it. It smells so good. So I have a lemonade and a watermelon. Yeah, I am very happy with this $5 sale. I will use this a lot on days where I don't do a full face of makeup, but my lips are so pale these days. I don't know, why do, I guess they fade as you get older. I don't know. But I am very happy with that $5 spent. That was a good deal. Okay, down to the nitty gritty. Let's open up my Ipsy Plus and see what we got this month. I will admit there is a shock in here. Yep, a shock gonna save it. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just gonna save it. When I open it up, actually I'm gonna take that out because I don't want you guys to see. 
when I open it up, this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see mostly just my bag on top and my goodies. And let's just dig right in. They've gone to a new style of bag. Oh, they filled it. It looks like Santa's sack. They say that it just, it just has one of my products in it. Anyway, on track. They say that the bag is gone to this sack. And this is what we're going to get every month. But each month, it's going to match the other two bags. And while I haven't opened the boxes yet, I have seen the bags. And this one does match. Last month, I did not feel like it matched at all. This one definitely matches. I kind of like it. Like I said, it kind of looks like a Santa sack. But you could definitely like put like a Christmas present in here. And I like this. I like this bag a lot. I think that I will get more use out of these sacks than I do the cosmetic cases. Because frankly, how many cosmetic cases can you use? I mean, I get three a month just from Ipsy. But these, these can like, I think of these as storage because you could get more in them and they're not, you know, there's no zipper involved. I could chuck this full. I, yeah, I just think these are gonna be more useful. Anyway, two thumbs up on the bag change. So we got our card and it says, good vibes, September, 2020. So that's gonna be our theme. Our card is absolutely not going to have the information on the inside anymore. I have printed out all of the information that we will need. I just looked at my box and I have to tell you, these were clearly not the add-ons. So this must've been like the flash sale because there are add-ons in this box. So I also added on to the box, just saying. So this was a $5 duo. What I have in there, I think, they were each $3 products. We'll get to those at the end. We'll start with the first two products that Ipsy selected for me because that's how it works now. We get five full-size products. They select the first two for us and then we get to select the next three out of three separate categories. So the two that they selected for me was the Pure Heels Centella 80 Eye Cream. And that is what that looks like. And it is a full-sized eye cream because these are all full-sized products. We have had these Pure Heels products. Some of them I can and some of them I cannot wear. I have put in my notes right next to what I did, I did this, grapefruit. I'm allergic to licorice and grapefruit, which I know are both very unusual, but I can't use grapefruit and there is grapefruit in this. So I'm not gonna open this, it's gonna go into a giveaway, but let me tell you what they said about it. It says, Pure Heels Centella 80 Eye Cream. Why you'll love it. Late nights are no match for this super powered eye cream. It leaves you looking wide awake no matter how many hours you slept. A potent combo of 80% Centella Asiatica Complex. Oh, Centella 80. I wonder what the... Okay. We've had several of these products. I don't know that I've ever read those exact words or allowed them to sink in. And adenosine, help hydrate your eye area, plump up your look of fine lines and wrinkles, and create a lifting and tightening effect. It sounds fantastic. Dark circles and puffiness happen, but don't panic. Niacinamide is here to help. The hardworking antioxidant is clutch when it comes to brightening shadows and deflating under eye bags. This has a $29 value. So again, I will set this aside for a giveaway because grapefruit. The other product that they picked for me is this go-to fancy free nourishing oil cleanser. And that is what the box looks like. And before yesterday, I would have been super stoked to try this. The only reason, oh, it has a little washcloth or something in it. The only reason that I'm not sure that I am is I filmed my gua sha video that I will be putting up just as soon as we get through these boxes, but at least it's filmed now. And I didn't bring an oil up because I keep extra things up here in my taping room. And I knew that I had the go-to face hero oil. So I used that on my face to do my gua sha. And by the end of the evening, yesterday evening, from having that oil on my face, I was not so much a happy camper. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or pass it along. So I will just take the lid off real quickly and show you that it is a pump. And we will read about it. And it comes with some kind of cute little, I'd say, washcloth. Some of the Emma Hardy products in the British brands also come with that washcloth. So let's see what this says. But that's what the bottle looks like, by the way. Okay. This says, go to skincare, which is the brand, Fancy Face. With a fancy cleanser like this, washing your face at the end of a long day no longer feels like a chore. It's a luxury. It's made with an oil base to gently and effectively dissolve eye and face makeup. Yup, even the waterproof kind. And sunscreen. The end result, skin that's perfectly clean, not at all stripped. It does more than just cleanse. Thanks to nourishing vitamins, antioxidants, and fatty acids, this cleanser leaves all skin types feeling soft, smooth, and supple. 
no nasties here. This wash is all natural, vegan, and cruelty free. It is 100 ml and it has a $34 value. It does not address, which by the way, I already put back in there, the washcloth. Let's see. It says, massage oil all over dry face in a circular motion, then take the warm, damp cloth and wipe the face completely clean. So this is a face oil. And again, I'm not gonna pump it out of here and I hate not showing it to you guys, but it is just a face oil and I am probably gonna go ahead and pass this along so I don't wanna use it. So, so far for me, this box isn't the best, but for giveaways, it's awesome. <laughs> okay, now down to the three things that I chose. The first one that I chose, and like I said, I didn't print out all my choices. I should have, but I don't want to belabor this every month. So I'm just gonna say it right here off the top and we can move past it. I'm getting a lot of duplicates. I'm getting a lot of things that have been in past boxes. One of my choices was a fingernail polish, which I have received before down to even the color of it. Now, you know they make 800 colors in that polish, but it was one that I have received before down to the color. I had a lot, a lot of repeats. So I made my choices accordingly. The first thing I chose was the Complex Culture Press and Set Bronzer Brush. This also was a repeat. I have had this before in a box. They offered it to me again as one of my choices. I, I feel a little bit like that's unfair because they say they're not gonna give us duplicates, but if half of our choices are duplicates, it doesn't really make it much of a choice. I guess that's what it comes down to. It doesn't really leave you with much of a choice if you don't want duplicates and th three of the four things they're offering you, you've had in a box before. There's not really a choice there. Anyway, like I said, not belaboring. Moving on. This is a Complex Culture bronzer. I have this. I love this. I use it regularly. They call it a bronzer, I'm sure, because it has a slightly oval look to it. I hope that that comes across as opposed to just a regular, but it could easily also be a blush brush. And I don't think I have a blush brush from them. So I thought, you know what? I love this brush. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up again. If I feel like I want to use it, I will take it out. If not, maybe it ends up in a giveaway. I just, it's a good quality product that I know that I like. So I chose it. I love the metal barrels on it. These have a slightly, not rubbery because nothing sticks to them, but I just, everything about the brush. I love the feel of the bristles. I love the feel of the way the brush uses. I just really, really like these complex culture brushes. So this is the Press and Set Bronzer Brush. Finally, a two-in-one that doesn't skip on performance. The uniquely shaped brush head is designed to set, bronze, and sculpt. Luxurious, dense Syntec bristles hold on to pigments and blend them out seamlessly, and that is absolutely true. Use the flat side to pick up setting powder and gently press over makeup and the tip for adding warmth and a bit of bronzer, or to hollow your cheeks for a sculpted effect. And it has a $35 value. And again, like I said, these brushes do not disappoint. If you find yourself with the opportunity to select one, if it's a brush you think you need, I 100% wholeheartedly recommend these brushes. Next, and we're going to move on to this because we are not going to end this on a negative note. Did you see that? Yes, I think you did. <clears throat> I, once again, was offered a LaRousse brush set. I'll put the link up to last month's video. I'm not gonna rant about this again. They have given it to me twice. Then they have offered it to me again last month, which I didn't take it. And then they offered it to me again this month. So they're busy taking up my choices with something they've already given me twice and tried to give me twice now. This is a LaRouche brush set. Sometimes they offer me the full face set. Sometimes now they offer me the face and the eye brush set. This one is the Essentials brush set with a $54 value. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys because I'm gonna give one of these I know to my mom. If she wants them all, she can have them all. But this is what it looks like. You get a nice contour brush. See the angle on it? Mm -hmm. And a nice foundation brush. And this is what she needed. So I'm gonna pass that along to my mother. And then three eye brushes. And you get a nice little regular eye brush, just regular eye brush. I'm not taking these out because I'm probably gonna end up passing them along. 
You get a nice little blender brush. It's not real thick, but it's a nice little blender brush. And then you get this one. And I've had it in another one of these LaRouche sets. And I'm gonna lift it up a little bit just so you can see it because it's a nice chubby one. And while they consider it an eye brush, what I have used it for is contouring the side of my nose. I find it to be a very good brush for that, slipping it back down in there. So they say, first of all, they say that this has a $154 value. And it says, this specially curated brush assortment has all your makeup application needs covered. Whether you're a beginner or a total pro, each brush has super soft synthetic bristles that are vegan, cruelty-free, and hypoallergenic. Function meets fashion. These brushes are designed with a textured matte handle to make them easy to maneuver in your hand. I agree. They are nice brushes. I know, so you're saying, so why did you pick them, Catherine? There is method to my madness. What I am hoping is, now that we've moved to choice, and I have picked them in choice. I have picked them. I'm hoping now they'll quit asking me to pick them. Sounds kind of logical, right? It was in my choice. I chose them. It shouldn't show up in my choice again. Please tell me you think that makes sense. Let me know below what you think. I know. Plus my mom mentioned a little bit ago, actually just a few days before I was making this choice, that she needed a new foundation brush. So I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and take it for mom. Anyway, I have another LaRouche brush set. Let's see what that brings for next month. I mean, I almost can't wait. At this point, it's become such a joke that I just almost, I just almost can't wait to see if they offer it to me again. Okay, see, that's why I didn't want to end with that. I wanted to end on a nice up note. So the last choice that I made, and this seemed really like a good buy to me and really interesting, and is this ColourPop set, and it is a lip bundle, and it is the Bretman by ColourPop Lip Bundle Wet. And you get three pieces in it. You get a liner, a lippy, and a lip gloss. $16 value. Does that not seem like an incredible deal? So what they are telling us about it is, this dream collab brings together one of our favorite beauty vloggers and beauty brands, both of whom take over our Insta feeds regularly. This lip kit has everything you need for an easy, long-lasting, photo-worthy lip look. It features the Ultra Satin Lip in She Cute, and that is what that looks like, the Libby Pencil, and it is long wearing, non feathering, and glides on easily to define and add dimension to your lips. It doesn't mention a color though. It doesn't mention it on here either. It just says Lip Pencil Bretman Rock X Color Pop. And then it says the Ultra Glossy Lip is a sheer icy blue, non sticky gloss that's enriched with jojoba oil to moisturize lips and give them a cushiony feel. And like I said, it is a $16 value. So let's play with this a little bit. Finally, something we can play with. So that is what the lippy looks like. It's a little dark, but that's what it looks like. See, I made lips. That is the lip liner. So now let's fill in that inside with the lippy. And again, that is in She Cute. Let's see how nude this is. It feels a little dry, maybe moussey. Of course, now I'm, I should have made the lips bigger. I'm trying to draw inside those lines. That is what that looks like. And like I said, it feels a little moussey. I like that sometimes. I find that sometimes in one of the lipsticks that maps down and dries out, I find that the moussey ones tend to be less tightening. And then we have the gloss, which looks like blue. And I hope you guys can see it's really sparkly in there. I like it. So we take that and it is a brush applicator. All right, that hasn't quite dried down yet, so let's give it a second. We can talk about, oh, you know what? I'll show you my add-ons. So I did for my first add-on the Mayel Clearly Brilliant Tinted Lip in Nude. And I did this and I made these choices because I got on to do my plus first before I looked at the rest of my boxes. That is a mistake. It is a rookie mistake that I will not make again because I am getting this in one of my other, I'm not sure if it's in my ultimate or in my OG bag, but I am receiving this. But this color looked so perfect for me. And it's just a little, it's kind of like a little sample size, but I think it'll last for forever. And it's nude. It says it's nude. And it probably will be. Let's see. Oh, it is very close to nude. Oh, I love that. See, there was just something about that that spoke to me and I just knew I was gonna love that. That is so pretty. It's so pink, it's just definitely me. 
and just as a little, yeah, I'm really glad I ordered that. And the other thing that I chose, because I really wanted to try this brand, and I know some people got it in their boxes, but it wasn't one of my choices, is this Item Brow Chow. Item is the brand, and Brow Chow is a brow pencil, and it's the Ultra Fine Brow Definer in Medium Brown. What I was interested in this, other than the fact that I think this is a whole new brand, is it has that nice triangle shape to it. So when you put it on, oh yeah, that color will definitely work for me. Sometimes medium browns can go either way. Sometimes they get a little dark, but this one is not too dark, I don't think. That is a nice kind of, I mean, that's almost a taupey color. That is not too dark a brown at all. So that will definitely work. But what drew me to it that made me want to try it was, look at the brush. It's like one of the little artiste brushes. It's just a cute little, it's so cute. So once you, you can, let's see how it does in your brows. Oh, I think that works nicely. I wondered if it would have, you know, it's so dense that I wondered if you would be able to actually brush your brows with it, but I think that you will. And it is smoothing out what I put on the back of my hand, which is probably really what it's intended to do. See how it just kind of smoothed it out? I like that. I wanted to be able to play with this, and I think this was a $5 add-on. I'm always looking for new brow things. You will always see me selecting brow items. I know you're probably like, what's with all the brow things? I don't know. I just like to try them. So I am very excited to try that. Okay, our lippy is pretty dry. So let's go ahead and put our gloss over it. And it's just a gloss. And unfortunately on the back of my hand, I can't get that really smooth. It did pick up a little bit of the color, but in theory that doesn't matter because it's for this set. And once you make it shiny, that's what it looks like. So that is a really nice nude. I'm not sure how great it will be for me because it's got a little bit of a warmth to it, but I am for sure, for sure going to try it. Okay, that is my Ipsy Plus. That is the second month of our new Ipsy Ultra Personalization. And they chose for me the Centella 80 Eye Cream from Pure Heels and the Go To Fancy Free Oil Cleanser. And then I chose the Complex Culture bronze and set brush, the LaRouche Essentials brush set. So we'll see if me choosing them puts the kibosh on them offering them. And then the Bretman X ColourPop lippy set, which again had a $16 value. So if that works, I mean, that, that's a lot of product for $16. And then my two add-ons were this cute little Mayel lippy and the item brow pencil. Oh, and then from, I'll assume a flash sale of some sort, I have the Jersey Shore highly recommended hydrating lip balm and the Seraphine Botanicals lip gel, lip oil, no lip gel. I was right. hundred percent vegan lip gel. All right. Thank you so much for coming by guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to come over. Let me know below what you think. How is choice working for you? Do you think that maybe by picking the brushes, I will put an end to the brush situation? Let me know below what you guys think. Again, thank you so much for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. And I will see you guys really soon. Take care.